What is up guys, this is your lazy monkey here, Alex, and today we're deciding to play Epic Battle Fantasy Adventure Story. And this is sponsored by Congregate, so if you want to play this game, go check it out in Congregate. Uh, these are other games that are made from the same uh, creator, and I might play them if you guys really want me to. Just let me know in the comment section below. Let's enter. Oh look, it's an intro story, let's go check it out. Oh, it's a kitty and the girl and the guy and some guy with the cannon. Oh my god. What? No, don't steal my girlfriend, you jerk. What the hell? No. That is so mean. Do not do that. What the hell? That's not cool. Alright. Before we get to, the th get to the game, it's called Epic Battle Fantasy Adventure Story, so we're going to change our difficulty to epic as it already is, because otherwise the game is too easy. So let's go to level 1 training ground. In, in every single level, there's 100 coins and 10 chests, and I plan to get all of them, so it's more like, I guess you could say, a walkthrough. So, if you press A, you can jump, and if you press S, it's your normal attack. You can jump and then make attacks, and if you press S while pressing a jump, you can jump on enemies. D is your basic magic, and we'll be getting more of this as the game progresses. Right now, we only have fire, which I'll show you later. So let's go to the story. These signs are pretty not important because I'll just show you in the way. I already pretty explained that A is jumping, and the other keys are just, you know, doing stuff. So, uh, we're just gonna pick up all the coins that we can, and also get the treasure chests too, because they either have gold or experience, and you know, we want to get as much gold as we can so we can buy more items and equipment. Well, not equipment, but more items like magic or, you know, health ups. Let me go check if I missed anything. I don't think I should have, because this is the first, you know, level. This is the first level, so there's going to be no enemies here, unfortunately. That's 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 what's kind of annoying. But, next level, uh, you're going to get more enemies, and it's going to be more fun, and joys, things that happens all the time. Let's go pick up these two chests. And this is an introduction of ducking, so if you have a platform right here, you can press down and A, and uh, you'll be able to jump on the platform. So this is an example of just targets. It's the, pretty much the enemies of this game. There's bigger targets, and then smaller targets, and then you can use basic attacks and swinging and stuff. And these chests hold usually hold MP or HP, so right now we only have 26, but don't worry, soon enough we'll be having a lot more than we have right now. So let's slice up these things, and you see we can't reach this? Not at all, well just barely, but we can jump and do an up attack, so it's that there's somebody up there, just hold up and then attack while jumping, it's kind of easy, it's really easy, it also explains it to you right here, so if you don't understand me, just look at that and try it yourself. Anyway, this is the first introduction of spells, which is this, just put in the center and boom, let's do it again. And just finish this off and we get experience from it so it's really good to attack them because there's no no other reason why you shouldn't because when you get levels you get uh, more health and more MP so that's pretty good let's go wow two chests at once that's fantastic and we get an HP up and an MP up so that's pretty good make sure you don't miss those otherwise it's gonna be kind of sad because that's pretty good uh, equipment for you and you should definitely get it and this is the last level as you can see, there's 86 coins, but we only have... No, there's not 100 coins in this level, but we only have 90 coins right now. And this one gave 20 XP, and since this is the last chest, it gives you 10 coins, and that's the last chest. So we beat the first level, and we pick up our kitty with joyous excitement and adventure. Let's go return to main menu. Uh, and we got the next level, and as you can see, we can go to the shop now. Now these are all the things that you can buy, and we currently only have fire right now, and I'm just going to buy Saken, because it's a pretty good move, and I really like it. I use it a lot. <laughs> Let's go to this next level, because that was too easy. This is the introduction of enemies. And the reason I chose Epic is because if it's not an Epic, then you can just breeze through this game and not really get, uh, you know, it's not even that difficult. Even if you get hit too much, you still won't have much of a challenge. That's just how this game is. Ah! Yeah, yeah, and there's some grass bushes things, so now that we've taken care of those to get experience, let's go pick up the chests and all the remaining uh, equipment that we could uh, have gotten, but we missed. So, hey, it's HP. And 10 experience, that's not bad, that's not bad. Let's get some coins, and jump on the clouds, because, you know, who else haven't done that game? You know, Mario 64 has done that uh, thing. 
normally you're supposed to go from up there and then jump and things, but if you're lucky, you can make it through there. But I'm not gonna give it, you know, try it. Yep, there you go, that's how you make it. Normally you're supposed to go from the clouds and jump down, but nah, I'm lazy. So we're gonna do it the old fashioned and easy way. Just letting you guys know, because it's easy equals faster and more, you know, interesting, because when you find ways to break the game, that's awesome. So every time you get hit, you get damage, and you can see uh, in the top left corner that I, I have uh, less health than my maximum, because my heart is less. So if I pick up this heart right here, oh, I didn't mean to fall. Oh, 4 HP. Not good. Not good. Uh, this, this is, okay, okay, we're, we're, we can do this. If I die, I'm going to be embarrassed. Yeah, come down here so I can get your HP if you drop any, and you didn't, of course. Let's use good uh, sense of our ex uh, skills. Boom. Oh, you dropped an HP upgrade. Let's see if you do. No, just an MP. Woo! That was close. And let's use some more. Yeah, kill you. Oh, and I died. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. I'll be back right here last time where I was, you know, right now. So be right back. Alright guys, we're back, and let's go fight some treasure chests to get, you know, MP and stuff. Yeah, we don't need you here, just die. Ah, I got hit regardless, god dang it. Well, let's go pick up these coins. Ah, oh, 2 HP. So make sure you don't fall, if you fall, it's pretty much game over for you. So, yeah, try not to do much falling, ever. <laughs> I was just trying to rush there, and that clearly wasn't a good idea. So hopefully he he or the next uh, monster drops an HP up, because that'll be better for me, and worse for them. Let's try this new one. Oh yeah, it totally obliterates them. That's why it's such a good move to have. Let's pick up this treasure chest. Oh, thank goodness for the HP up. We clearly needed that. Let's not fall down there and keep going and progress the story and jump on slash him so we don't get hit. All right, we have 55 coins and seven chests, so we're almost we're on our way at least. And let's use this say pumpkin, because that's a pretty good move. Ah, epic is so much harder. It makes you think more. It makes you like it makes it not as easy. Ah, so much damage from those. And those things you can't kill. I tried. No matter how much times you want to destroy, you just can't. But what it does do is give you uh, an example of the jumping on the enemies thing. So it's kind of like hard to do, but if you do, you can jump onto this platform and kill that enemy or just knock him off the platform <laughs> and not get any of his loot and stuff. But you're going to need to do that anyway because otherwise there's no way to get there. And come on. Yeah, all right. Let's jump across. And hopefully these chests have HP, which they did. It froze. Okay. Okay, that's good. Let's avoid stuff. I'm gonna take it easy and just use fire to destroy this guy. I don't want to risk. Oh, he didn't. Dang it. There you go. Let's pick up this chest. Hey, and it's equipment. And let's pick up this chest. Also, let's go to this deadly place where there's a skull and stuff like that, and just pretty much shows you cool jumping skills like that. It's just an example of things, and you get 10 chests and 100 coins, so we beat this level 100% as well, and that is great. Let's go pick up this kitty, and go on our merry way to completing the level. Now let's return to the menu, why not? I think that's a good idea, great as ever. New equipment available. So, this pirate hat gives you 10 HP, 20 attack, and 20 magic, and this one gives you 48% HP. I don't really care about the magic or the attack. Well, I do care about the attack, but I'd rather have more HP because yeah, this is epic. So, hopefully this won't be... I won't regret this decision. And let's get heal. This time we'll heal, instantly recover some HP. And that's good. It's more like a heal thing. Let's go to the Towering Mushroom. Actually, no. I think we done, we're done for today because that one is going to take a while. So I'll see you guys next time. Like and comment in this episode. And make sure, you, uh, make sure you message me or just comment if you like this and want me to continue it. Alright guys, see you later.